Hello everyone, and welcome back to another scroll box video. So as you can see, it's our favourite time of the month. Let's not dilly dally and let's crack this up and find out what's inside. So if we open our box, we have got our usual supplies. And it's quite thick actually. We have our zine, we have our print, and we have our pad of paper. So if you follow me on my Instagram, and if you don't, you should. It's at Joseph Owens Art. It's going to be linked somewhere on screen. But a couple of weeks ago, I posted on my story just um, tagging Scrollbox. Like, hey, we've had Bristol board, we've had marker paper, we've had canvas paper, we've had all the things. What can you give us next? Is it going to be like a wooden board? And they responded, keeping us on our toes. Very interesting. But yeah, um, we've got more pads of paper. I really want to find out what they're going to give us next month because surely there's not much more painting, like materials to paint on or draw on it's just some smooth white paper it is 250 gsm very smooth it's like card almost so very nice and along with that we have our print for the month which is so nice it reminds me of oil pastels i think if you can just see the textures in it it gives me oil pastel vibes or like oil vibes or even dried acrylic i really don't know Julie Abissar, you can see all the details there. She got her degree in London, so she's UK based, AS4 in London. Yeah, all her details are there, you can read it if you want, as well as her socials, which I will link down below in the video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, we have our monthly sticker, and it's green. I'm so glad I put the plants out. Look at this. Look at me preparing, I didn't even know what it was. Look at that. But yeah, um, like I said, it's just the artwork as normal. I really do like the artwork, so I'm really happy with the sticker. And interesting, so we've got our prompt. As... What did I say? What did I say? Okay, we'll come back to that in a sec. We have our prompt for the month, which is where River Flow, and we've got all of our details on back here, which we won't look at just yet. We have our sweet. Everything's green themed. I really like the commitment to that. This is a spearmint chew. In the actual art supplies themselves, we have a Derwent rubber. We have our pencil. Well, I say a pencil. Is the Stadler Mars pencil? Oh, yeah. It's a state of the Mars. It's a, it's a good set of pencils. I don't think I've ever had one. But this is a 5B, so very dark actually. We have two little tools here. So we have a blending stump. And this looks like a sculpting tool. Um, it's like a toothpick. One side has got like a more of a detailed point on it. So you can like add markings and stuff. And this side's got like a flat edge to it. And our, art, our main art supply this month. Oil pastels. Oh my god. I am going to die. I do not like this. <laughs> um, obviously, I give all the art supplies a first shot. That's the whole point of these boxes, to expand out of our horizons. But at the same time, I am terrified to try these. The last time I used oil pastels was in GCSC, and that didn't go well. Crayons, pastels, whatever you want to call them, they're just so messy. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'll give it a little Google afterwards. It's by Sen Senila, the oil pastels. Um, oh, this comes with some card as well. Interesting. I, I think, we, yeah, 340 GSM card. So this is, this is actually an oil pastel card, whereas we've got drawing paper. I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm going to have to test it, but... Oh, no. I've already painted on it. I've already drawn on it. Oh, well. Oh yeah, this is much thicker, this card. Very thick, actually. I'd rather use the oil pastels on here, but they are smaller. So I don't know yet. <laughs> I have to try both out. As you can see, we've got quite a variety of colours. We have um, an ochre yellow, um, more of a golden brown, or is this more ochre? Um, a very bright green. It's not a navy blue, it's much deeper than that. It's like a midnight blue. We've got a black and we have white. So we know this is our prompt for a month, where the, ri where the river flows. I don't know where that come from. And yeah, so you can see 
We have our oil pastels, which bright black, yellow gold, yellow ochre, ah, charcoal blue and light green. This retails for 13 pounds. For these, 13 pounds, oh my God. Okay, that is criminal. And we have our Dare and Eraser, an ideal pairing with a 5B pencil, as it's great at removing and absorbing darker and denser strokes of graphite. I wonder that's why we have a 5B pencil, interesting. But that's £3.50, we have our 5B pencil which is £1.80, we have our stump which is £1.20, no £1.30, our wooden stylus scratcher is useful for creating texture in your artwork. Okay, that's what that is for. And that's one, no, 50 pence. And then we've got our drawing pad as well, which is three pounds. So let's look into this and find out how to use these art supplies. So this is, as always, our little spread that we get. It's just showing you how you can use them all together. They bring up really nice texture. But I imagine how I'll be using them very smooth. I don't know yet. This is the, our artist, Julie. Wow, look at that. These are stunning. Okay, so this is some inspiration of how to use them and a little Q&A section. So this is like tips and advice for how to use the supplies. So I'll be reading this very closely because I really don't know what I'm doing with these. Wow, look at these. Some of these are stunning. I love the dog. I love the mushrooms. I love, oh, it's a Dalek as well. I love all of these, these are so cool. And yeah, this is just information about pastels and what they can do, but they're just so messy and something I don't play with. But I guess that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna swatch these, experiment with them and find out how to really use them and go from there. Hello everyone, back to voiceover Joseph. Before I talk about the artwork and my experience with these supplies, I just want to say a big big thank you to all the support on my last video. The algorithm must have blessed me as I got a lot of new subscribers, so if you're one of them, hello. Hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you do, please show your love by liking this video. And if you're new here, it would really help if you could subscribe down below. So, let's talk about the elephant in the room, these art supplies. What can I say about these? Well, if you saw my reaction when I opened them, I wasn't too excited. Not because of scroller box, but because I've not been fond of oil pastels in the past. I think, it's, as I said, it was GCSE, it was in high school the last time I used them. And I must have got some really crappy oil pastels, as I really enjoyed these once I got used to them. And I'll touch on that more later in this video. I need to apologise about the camera quality for the first third of the speed paint. It wasn't until I realised when I checked back the footage that I had it on the wrong settings. And instead I was recording 1080p, not 4K, which is a good start. But I also had tracking on, which I thought would make it smoother. Turns out the autofocus was trying to bounce around and really trying to keep my hand in motion in focus, not the actual artwork because I thought moving the tail about so much that might be the best option. Turns out it's not. You will see an improvement in the quality, just stick with it. When I was testing out these supplies, I mostly experimented with the blending and the range of tones I could make. From there I knew it would be messy as my fingers were all full of colours. I will say they went on so smoothly, like butter, and I could start to see the appeal of these. For the prompt I decided to illustrate a river in the mountains. Very ambitious. 
A vast most box, I nearly did a landscape, but decided not to, as I wouldn't been able to do it justice. Yet I thought, why not just jump in the deep end with these supplies I can't control? Crazy, I know, right? The sketch itself took a while, from thumbnail to final design, as I wanted to make sure I had everything and wasn't second guessing any decision. Then came the dreaded part, using the pastels. I decided to be a bit clever with this and use washi tape to mask off parts of the illustration. And I think because of this technique, I was able to create a cleanish illustration. Starting with the sky, I blocked in an orange sunset, taping out the areas for clouds and the surrounding trees. Very straightforward. But once I got onto the rocks, is where I had to think carefully and be patient with these supplies. And this is where I learned how to use the supplies, at least in my style. I started by laying down a textured a black, blue and a bit of yellow. We had no greys, but we had a black and white, so I thought I'd mix the colours on the page. And this is where the magic happened. Once I applied the white, I was able to drag and blend the colours together, going in with a blending stump on my fingers to cover all the area with a base colour. Once I had a base down, I learned I could replicate a painting technique as these are oil based. By applying the pastels directly to the blending stump, I could neatly put down the colour blocking out shapes and shade. This is where I discovered the potential, as I was able to control the colours yet make them blend so seamlessly if I wanted to. So I just used a tiny bit of blue on the stump and when it applied to a grey oil based, it lightened the blue into a greyish blue, perfect for sculpting and shading the rocks. I just repeated this process all over the rocks until it was done, but this was very time consuming, nearly taking around 3 hours just on the rocks, so patience was key. Essentially, after this, I followed the same steps for the water and trees, masking out the areas to get a clean cut, applying a base colour and then using the blending stump to add more defined features. However, when it came to the water foam, the pastel was too soft to add directly as it would just make the water slightly lighter, not white. So this is where I used our little tool to first scrape off the layers of the blue to reveal the under colours and the white paper. But then I scraped off chunks of the pastel and laid on thickly to the page, dabbing it about instead of blending it into the colours. This technique reminded me of stippling, but it worked so well, so I repeated it with a darker blue. It allowed me to get those darker shades, which I wasn't able to because the colours would not naturally blend into each other. And finally, I did it with the trees. I learned that using your fingers to create a feather look isn't the best idea as it left a fingerprint mark where it showed the bumps of your skin on the page. So this is where I learned to use a paper towel instead to dab and feather the colours, along with the stippling technique to create variations of depth in the trees. So overall, how did I find this box? Honestly, I'm surprised about this. I grew to like these art supplies a lot and I'm really proud of the final artwork. Even though it took much longer to make, it allowed me just to unwind and enjoy my time t playing with them. I realised for me I had to use hacks and adapt the medium to my style. Originally I compared these to watercolour pencils. Why would you use them if you have watercolours? It's the same thing with oil paints, right? Yes and no. Yes, in the style of pigment, but in the technique can be so di much different. One tip I would say is to make sure to use a setting spray, like hairspray after you're done with it so you don't stain your fingers every time you pick it up. This leads me on to my second thought. Do I recommend Scrollbox as a whole? If you're on a budget and you only specifically use certain mediums, probably not. I would save your money and spend on supplies you need. But if you're like me and you enjoy trying new things, or spend most of your time as a digital artist and want to try supplies to take your eyes off the screen, then I would highly recommend these boxes. They give you enough supplies to get you going with some beautiful artwork. And the supplies they do supply will either get you hooked on them and want more, or allow you to start building your own little collection of miscellaneous art supplies. So I think I need to wrap this up as this has been such a long voiceover. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these art supplies and did you get the box? What did you think? I love reading your experience with these. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss when I post and follow me on my socials, Instagram and Twitter, where I post more of my work, like my upcoming She-Hulk drawing. 
Until next time, guys, stay creative.